Hello you guys, welcome to CDG Engineering. Today I will be discussing what the advantages are for making a double reverse four bar lift and how to build it. Next, you will need to get two 60 tooth gears. Next, you will need to get a two and a half inch shaft, plastic shaft with a head on the end of it. That, you will need to get two of these flat headed pins. That, you will need to get one shaft collar. You will need 13 one by one connector pins. Next, you will need to get two two by two cubes. You will need four two by 20 beams and two two by 16 beams. Next, get your one of your one by one by twenty beams and connect it center hole on the top. Get another one. Just like that. Next get your one by sixteen beam and put a connector pin here and here. Next take what you've already built and snap them in the middle hole. One. Now you have a four bar lift, 60 tooth gears, and put the two white connector pins with the flat heads in it, like that. Gear, and put it on this top beam in these two holes. That's how it looks right now. So whenever you move the top one, the gear moves your black 2x2 two two cube and put two connector pins crossways from each other. Make sure you have the one with the shaft holder. 2x20 beams and snap it in on the black 2x2 um, two two cube. Just like that. Plastic shaft and your 60 tooth gear and put the shaft in. See that the shaft is all the way through so it's flush so it's not sticking out in your two by two cube with the connector pins in it and make sure that you have the pins upward and put it through the middle hole don't connect it to the gear next count one two three holes and put the shaft in and make it slide all the way through and connect the two by two cube onto the beam Pop in your gear and make sure that it moves. And flip it over. Next, get your two by two cube with the shaft hole in the middle. Put two connector pins crossways and get your two by 20 beam and snap it. That. Get, get your one with the shaft hole. And put it on the shaft. Regular two by two cube and put two connector pins Right here and right here and then connect it to one of your two by two or two by twenty two beams. By twenty beam and get a connector pin and pop it in the middle of this two by two cube that's attached to it. And put it don't put it on the top pole, put it on this your last two by sixteen beam and put a connector pin here. Count three holes and then another one there. And put this snap it right here. Get your other top one and snap it in there. Now get your rubber neck shaft collar and slide it all the way up against the beam on the shaft. Make sure it's tied on there. Now you have your double reverse four bar lift. Two by 20 beam represents the base of your double reverse four bar lift that I built can exceed 35 inches up in the air. If you were to make a double reverse four bar lift for Vexaki Rise Above, if you were to have a claw up there on that two by 16 beam, you would be able to stack three risers up in the air and have plenty of clearance. A little claw design on here and I'm gonna show you how high it can pick up. As you can see, it could pick up a riser really high up in the air. And build two of these first, more support and 
for more strength. Motor right here or right here or right here or right here. It doesn't really matter as long as it's as long as the motor turns because whenever one of these beams turns, the other three do. So there's just a, another tip. So if you, you can put the motor right here and right here, but it would be more easier and more strengthening to put it right here and right here on the base. If you like these kind type of videos, please consider subscribing and like the video. And if you have any ideas of what I should build next or any other things that you want, might want me to do, please comment it in the comment section below. My first video on YouTube, it's not perfect. I'll be bringing you more content in the future, more contraptions and engineering designs. This is CDG Engineering, and I'll see you in the next video.